like to hear another story? Shall we have a look and see which story is under the story blanket today? This story is called Unfortunately! Oh my goodness, look at that huge snake! Very, very sharp teeth. He looks like he's about to eat the title. This story is by Alan Durant. He wrote the words. And Simon Rickety. He drew the pictures. The blurb on the back says, Fortunately, you've just picked up one of the most thrilling, twisty, turny, fun-filled stories ever. Unfortunately, now it will be really hard for you to put down. Fortunately, you have amazing taste and can spot a book by an award-winning author with cracking pictures by an exciting new illustrator. Unfortunately, you will love this book so much that you will find yourself reading it over and over and over again. Unfortunately, this is the back of the book. You need to open it to read the story. That's a funny blurb, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute. There's a big bear. All right, let's see. Unfortunately. One bright sunny day, a boy was walking th happily through the jungle, whistling. Unfortunately, he met a big, a scary lion with very sharp teeth. The lion roared, roar, and leapt at the boy. Fortunately, the boy quickly climbed up a tree and escaped. Can't catch me, mama, mama, mama. Unfortunately, uh-oh. A mean and hungry snake was coiled around the tree. It opened its mouth to swallow the boy. Uh-oh. Fortunately, the boy grabbed a vine, wee, and swung away from the snake. Unfortunately, the vine broke and the boy dropped into a mire of quicksand. Fortunately, a hunter was passing by. He threw a rope around the boy and hauled him out of the quicksand. Then the hunter took the boy back to his village for dinner. Unfortunately, the boy was dinner. Help! Again! says the boy. Fortunately, a girl put, took pity on the boy and set him free. Yay! They ran away together, back into the jungle. Oh dear, can you see what's going to happen next? Unfortunately, they didn't watch where they were going and fell into a deep pit ah! in which lived a very fierce man-eating bear. Ah! The bear snarled and raised his huge paws. Fortunately, the boy and girl saw a giant spider web. We can climb up this web and escape, said the boy. Good idea, said the girl. Unfortunately, a giant, venomous, hairy spider appeared and started to climb down the web towards them. Closer and closer it came. Fortunately, the boy found a biscuit in his pocket. He threw it into the web and the spider ate that instead. The boy and the girl climbed up the web and out of the pit. Free at last, they cried. Yay! Unfortunately, a massive vulture flew down and snatched them up in his talons. Oh no. Up it soared into the sky. Look, they're hanging on. Ah! Fortunately, the boy and the girl were too heavy for the vulture and it dropped them. It wasn't just the boy and the girl, it was the boy and the girl and the monkeys were too heavy for the vulture and it dropped them into a pool. Splash! Unfortunately, it was inhabited by crocodiles. Oh no, oh no. Fortunately, the crocodiles had just eaten and were all fast asleep and snoring. The boy and the girl tiptoed out of the pool. <sighs> then they walked together. Happily through the jungle, whistling. <whistles> Unfortunately... Oh no! The huge dinosaur has got them in the end! 
What do you think is going to happen next? How are they going to escape? Well, I don't know because that's the end of the story. Well, that really was a thrilling, twisty, turny story, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Bye.